Hey, I'm back. I have uh, reclaimed my voice uh, for what may be the next 40 minutes. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see if that lasts. Probably not, but oh well. Uh, I do have my drink just to, just to <laughs> tide me over until then. Uh, but let's just get into it. Let's get into it. Starting off with Furret. Not Furret, Centret. Centret is a B tier. Its sprite is better than its model and it's shiny as ass. Furret, S tier, just for meme status alone. Furret's cool. Uh, its height is scary. Uh, it has a very cool looking body and it's adorable. Hoot hoot. Hoot hoot. Uh, the one leg is always weird, but it has a reason. They explain it, whatever, who cares. But it, it's just an all-round, like, it's a it's a root one bird, you know? It makes sense. It's not too flashy, but it's not so boring that, you know, it looks like fucking Igglybuff. It's not boring. It's, it's not too flashy. It's just in the middle, which is where it belongs. Noctowl. I've always not liked Noctowl as much as the other regional birds, but i got to hand it to him. He's probably one of the scarier ones. Uh, but other than that, not much going for him. Apom. I fucking hate Apom. Uh, the Pokemon Legends Arceus has made me hate this monkey. Ambipom. I think I like I like the hands. I like the hands on this one. I know they're not hands, it's its tail, but that's the whole point. I like the hands. Uh, the face looks a bit weird. It looks like a... It looks like a monkey, but it looks like a cartoonish monkey beyond the point of realism. Uh, but the, the tail's cool. It's purple, so I'll let it get off. Oh, I'll let it go away with that. Apom doesn't get the same thing. Giraffery. A tier. Funny name, funny design, and the tail's adorable. You can't hate Giraffery. Also, giraffes are my second favorite animal, just behind rhinoceroses. So, Giraffe Rig gets A tier for that, obviously, obviously. Uh, for Rigoraf, S tier. When I saw this, I damn near cried. This shit is top tier. It's got a little hoodie on. It's tall now. It's useful. Scarlet and Violet. When I played Violet for the first time, this dude was on my team and he was fucking carrying. Other than Torch Song, Skelly Dirge, but he was still carrying. Uh, Dunsparce. Uh, he's alright. I mean,. Uh, if I was being honest, I would probably put him below B tier, but I think, I think it needs something, and the Dunsparce is not something. So Dunsparce, Dunsparce, I'm gonna cut in some slack. I'm gonna put him in B tier, but I don't personally like how stubby his body is, and how thin his tail connecting part is, and how I never, I always could tell it was a mouth, but I never wanted that to be his mouth. I never wanted to see it open. Uh, this is. The Dunsparce with the segmented body parts. Oh, I forgot that this has reset all my shit now. Uh, that's the Dunsparce with all the fucking body parts that suck ass. Uh, so, the Dunsparce as a whole. You know what? It looks better than Dunsparce. I think the extra body segments just made Dunsparce look better. Uh, I think it did. Uh, the extra chin spike, the extra wings probably helped a bit, and the bit on the tail maybe a bit. But, the Dunsparce as a whole. It is a disappointment, but I think that's what it was meant to be. I, they were meant, they did it so they could look you in the eyes and say, all right, ask for another Pokemon to be evolved again. We fucking dare you. We'll turn him into a worm, which they kind of, they, they did. Fair play. I wasn't asking for Dunsparce to be evolved. I kind of liked him just being a little dude, but the Dunsparce is okay. And the design is pretty good, actually. It's a good, it's a good progression over this anyway. Delicious water. Teddy Ursa. Teddy Ursa is adorable. And also, and it's Pokemon cards. Very cute. I like I like the idea of Teddy Ursa dipping its hand in honey and just sucking the entire hand. What a legend. Uh, big fan. I like this. Uh, Ursa Ring. Ursa Ring's cool as well. You know what? Fuck it. Ursa Ring's cool. And I like both their shinies. One's a minty green and the other one is a blow your asshole off explode your fucking central nervous system green but they're still cool i like them both also ursa ring is just a fucking grizzly bear and i've got to respect that ursa luna a good idea 
The design is cool. Does it look like a direct uh, evolution of Ursaring? Not particularly. I think it's the two to four legs and then it having the world's uh, biggest neck. But it, was it the best idea, design they could have come up with as an evolution? No. But it's a cool design nonetheless. You know, he's more of a muddy brown and grey because he chills in the swamp. I like the little moon with the clouds moving in front of it on his forehead. Big fan. Uh, also, the scary ass claws. But it would have been an A tier for all these things if it didn't suck ass to evolve. I fucking hated it. So he gets to go a B tier because it ruined it. Stantler, he's kind of ugly. He's kind of ugly. He's got a massive dump truck ass. He's got the biggest bee sting nose I ever seen. And his horns just look like slingshots. So, you know, C tier. I don't really like it that much. Weird ear. I think it was a good progression. Was it the best thing they could have done? No, but it was a good thing at the very least. I take a good thing over a bad thing, but I want the best thing. This was not the best thing, but I like I like the the fur. The weird beard is a bit odd, but whatever. The horns slightly less slingshotty than before. Uh, this not just looking like a giant tumor and actually looking like a tail. That's good. Uh, and it just looks it looks a bit better in all regards. I think. Uh, so yeah, it gets, uh, it gets, it gets beat here. Smeargle. Smeargle, just for the novelty of, well, one, it's a dog in a hat, which I think is fucking funny as shit. But just for the novelty of the fact that it's, you fucked up, it's so difficult to fuck, like, to fight. I don't get it. I don't get it. I really don't get it. But Dark Void Smeargle was my life. Watching competitive games, Dark Void Smeargle, I love that shit. That was amazing. Miltank, D tier, I hate Miltank. Actually, D tier, I hate Miltank. Zigzagoon, S tier. <laughs> you can't get better than this boy. He is the greatest of all time. He's my fucking dude. I love this man. He He's so cute. He is, I like, I know everyone thinks Eevee is cute, and I don't disagree. Eevee is adorable. But this is like, Society, societally, societally cute. Like this is what society says is cute. This, this rugged little raccoon asshole bandit idiot here. That's cute. I like that. That's cute. Uh, Linoon. Uh, it would have been an A tier, but Norman's belly drum Linoon made me want to die. A uh, Galarian Zigzagoon. Fucking funniest thing they could have done was make it a member of KISS, so I gotta give them mad respect for that. Uh, also, it's shiny is hella cool. Uh, and Galarian Linoon gets to go up there too. Obstagoon. If you asked me who is getting an evolution in Gen 8, I would not have been saying Zigzagoon, but they gave it to him. And he's fucking funny as hell. He does look like a Linoon in a mech suit, but still. Like, I really like it. And again, the shiny. Phenomenal. Mwah. Love that shit. Taylo. I kind of like Taylor. I like Taylor a lot, actually. He's very cute. He's got, th he's got, you know, he's got a lot going for him in terms of color. But it's not blowing my mind, you know? It's good. It's good. It's subtle. It's not crazy like later game uh, Pokemon tend to be. Like, if you look at Porygon Z, this dude is fucked up. Taylor is sort of some of the same colours, but it's more tame. It's more balanced. It's more neutral. He's the little guy. He's just a bird with the widest mouth known to man. Uh, uh, then we got Swellow. Swellow would definitely peg you, but, you know, we'll move on from that. Very cool. I think the idea of changing the feet from blue to red was a nice design choice. Uh, the tail. Is this the tail? Is that the tail? Or are they both the tail and it's meant to look like a jet plane? Either way, I like me a Swallow. Swallow's very cool. Uh, slack off. Slack off. He's my man. But he's kind of shit. I mean, finding one in Petalburg Woods, not too hard. But, you know, you don't normally go out your way to do it. Mainly because Big Man up here decided to have a fucking shit ability. But, yeah, Slack off. He's cute. He's cute. I like Sloth. Uh, his weird bendy arm, no elbow, no shoulder, just bend. 
I don't get it, but he's cute and he's lazy. Vigoroth, now this is good. He goes from really lazy to the most energetic Pokemon of all time. And he's scary as shit. Can't hate that, can't hate scary things. Scary things are cool. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's my only reasoning. It's just that I like that it goes from lazy to not lazy. <sighs> Slacking is S tier. As much as I don't use slacking and neither does anyone else ever, but slacking is still kind of funny. I mean, it is, I believe, the strongest non-legendary Pokemon of all time. 670 base stat. It's fucking around with Groudon and Kyogre, but the only problem is this dude only moves once every two turns, right? He's still fucking around with Legends, and for that, he has to go in S tier. A Pokemon you can find before the first gym could one-shot you in real life and also probably a Legend. Just keep that in mind, keep that in mind. Wismer. I like Wismer. Wismer's cute. Very cute. I like that it's very sad, which sounds awful, but I do like it. I like that it's sad. Not in the way that I get enjoyment from its pain, I just think it's very cute. It's very cute. It's cute, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's very cute. Loudred. Loudred's a funny man. He's got them loudspeakers in his ears. I can't... can't hate that. He's gotta go in a V tier at very least. x -Bloud. Um... Yeah, I guess B tier. I mean, there's nothing phenomenal about it, but it does stand out. I mean... He's got the... I, I, like, Taylor has the widest mouth uh, lengthways, but... Exploud has the biggest mouth on a Pokemon other than maybe in fact that might just be Gyarados's mouth copy and pasted onto him and they just gave him shorter teeth but it is funny and the idea of him being a fucking loudspeaker or a boombox that's funny too can you notice that I like Gen 3 more than other gens maybe I'm biased Azuril. Uh he's up here because he's sad and not in the way that Wisma's sad I mean he's like I, I feel bad for him why is why did they make him so sad in the picture? I don't know. Uh, but finally, some non-Gen three bias. Even though it is bias, I don't like this Pokemon. Skitty, it's cute, but I just I don't like the design. The three acupuncture pins it's got coming out of its tail. The fact that its tail is so thin and then turns into a balloon. Uh, it always having its eyes closed. It's not the same as when Snorlax does it, because you're not tired, you're just happy. We don't like that around here. Uh, Delcay, slightly less offensive, but still got acupuncture pins, still a thin into a balloon tail. But the hair's fun. Well, it's more fun anyway. Uh, Spinder, S tier. Spinder is the S. Uh, S for Spinder tier. Uh, Spinder is incredible. Let's add that to my dictionary. Spinder is awesome. Spinder is one of the most fun designs they've done ever. It having different dots, amazing. It having the swirly eyes and the swirly ears, and it when it does its standing pose, just doing all this bullshit up here, like spinning, spinning around, obviously. Him being dizzy all the time and being unable to walk in a straight line. Funny as hell. Spinder is S tier. Um, oh yeah, I forgot Altaria is not actually normal type. Uh, Swablu is okay. Cute, but... The, the the completely solid body into cloud wings, not incredible, but it is pretty cool. Uh, Altario would have been in like A tier or something. Uh, Zangoose. Zangoose is emo, but he's a fun emo, unlike Drizzile. He's a fun emo because, you know, he's he's been emo. He, he's not doing it. He's not doing it to impress anyone. He just is. Also. He's got a cool shiny, and his claws are fucking massive. I don't think he has fingers, I just think he has big claws. Uh, cast form, it does look like boobs and ass. I'm sorry, Michael. It looks like boobs and ass, and it has to be in C tier. I would have put in D tier, but it's, like, the circle here, cute. The hair flick, kind of cute. They gave it titties, C tier for titties. Uh, Kecleon, Kecleon, I like Kecleon. Kecleon is like Spinda, you know? It's just a Gen 3 Pokemon, they just got an animal and they went, fuck it, put it in the game. <laughs> so, it's just a chameleon. It doesn't do anything. It's got a bad shiny. You, I don't actually remember where you find it. I know there's one in like, is it Verdanturf? No, Fortree. Fortree, you get the goggles and you can see it invisible for once. This dude, 
you just, there's like three of them in the game. And if you fuck up, you fuck up. You know? I like him. He's a funny little chameleon. Also, I really like chameleons for some reason. Um, that's the end of Gen 3. And I've been going for 15 minutes. Fucking... Uh, yeah. I still have my voice. I'm going to record another one. And I'll upload it two days after this. I think if I'm going to do these, I'll spread them out over two days. Just because... If I do one a day, then I'll do about four, and then there'll just be three days of nothing. So if I do four, I can do one every two days, and there will be only one day gaps in between. So I will do one every two days if my voice doesn't hurt, and also if I don't run out of time. And also I just need to be free to do it, which I'm slightly less than normal. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I will be back to continue this very funny list. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye.